What's the correlation between the zodiac Aquarius and Luke 22 <laughs> verse 10? We're coming back to the zodiac again, aren't we? You know, <laughs> we, we can't seem to get away from the zodiac. Whatever we do, it's, it's coming back to the zodiac. You know, you, you can spend your whole life in Christianity and not hear about the zodiac once. And then you look deeper at the texts and suddenly you, you find that the zodiac is everywhere. Um, for people who don't know this particular verse, Luke 22, 10, it says, um, Jesus said unto them, uh, un unto um, two of his disciples, uh, behold, when you enter the city, you will see a, me a, a man bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house that he enters. And he will show you a large upper room furnished, um, furnished, and there you can make ready. And when the hour was come, Jesus sat down and the 12 apostles with him. So we're talking about a man bearing a pitcher of water. We're talking about Aquarius, about the dawn of the age of Aquarius. Um, and he goes to a house. Well, what do we call each part of the zodiac? We call a house. Each section of the zodiac is called a house. And so Aquarius will be in one particular house within the zodiac. And it says, follow him into this house and go into the upper room. This is a game where the translations can lead you astray. The upper room can also mean the celestial room. The room above, up in the cosmos above. Where is the house of the zodiac, the house of Aquarius? It's in the celestial room in the heavens above. And that's where they were going to. What does this mean in rational terms? I think what they were doing is what we see at the Hamat Tavera zodiac on the shores of the Sea of Galilee which comes from the first century. We talked about this in the last talk. So there we have this enormous great zodiac. It's, well, it's quite large. One, two, three. It's four or five meters across. It's quite large. Sitting on the floor of a synagogue. So it's a Jewish zodiac. And I think they didn't just have this as a zodiac sitting on the floor. I think they sat down to uh, dinner at this zodiac. So you would put your meal around the zodiac and you would have a cushion and each disciple would be sitting at one of these signs of the zodiac and be associated with one of these signs. And so quite obviously, one of these disciples was associated with um, Aquarius and he would sit down at the house of Aquarius, which was... Um, in a celestial room. Yes, it was a celestial room because it has the whole of the zodiac there. And I think that is what they were talking about. And when we go off, we'll talk about Arthurian legend another day, but when we go into Arthurian legend, that's exactly what the um, Knights of the Round Table did as well. The Round Table of Arthur was a zodiac and the Knights of the Round Table sat around that zodiac, the 12 knights, of the round table in exactly the same way as the 12 disciples of Jesus did. So they were sitting around a zodiac table, not just any old table. And that's what it's talking about. It's again, it's talking about the zodiac. But you can see how all of this can be concealed within the uh, Catholic Church. Uh, you would not obviously see any of this if you just went into, into a Catholic Church. You would not see this symbolism. You have to be initiated into it. And that's what we're doing. Um, you know, you could consider me as the master of the secret society. And I'm initiating all of the people watching today. And we're all being illuminated. And um, yes, that's, that's how these societies always worked.